At just six foot flat with a six foot four wingspan, Davion Mitchell is not letting the fact that he's undersized stop him from being an amazing defender, and this is how he does it. Hey yo, what's good with y'all? My name is Will, and welcome back to Will Soul Trail Hoops. In this video, I wanted to break down Davion Mitchell's defense from his first few games in the NBA. He's had to take on the assignments of defending Damian Lillard, Donovan Mitchell, and Steph Curry in his first three games, and he has been impressive. Those three players have shot a combined. 5 for 16 when guarded by him and this graphic here shows you how each player has shot when guarded by Mitchell. They called this guy off night and that's clearly for good reason. Coming off the bench he's been making a huge impact for this Kings defense on the perimeter, creating turnovers with active hands and being a pest against opposing star players. In the game against Golden State, Steph was going for a switch pretty much every time he had Mitchell on him which is why he only had 4 shot attempts when guarded by Mitchell. He's He's such a tough defender to deal with, but let's take a look at why he's so tough to deal with as a defender. Matched up with Damian Lillard, Mitchell overcommits trying to prevent a dribble handoff giving Lillard a good amount of space to get the ball when he adjusts denying the handoff. And overcommitting does seem to be one of Mitchell's issues on defense but he makes up for it with excellent recovery speed taking away any opportunity that Lillard had at a shot immediately. Lillard then goes into his pan dribble step back from mid range and Mitchell gets a great contest. Here's the Mitchell vs Mitchell matchup where Donovan denies a ball screen from Gobert driving hard to the basket. And here at this frame is usually when a defender would be beat in the NBA by a guy like Donovan but Davion's great speed both straight line and laterally is allowing him to stay on the offensive player's hip and ultimately beat the offensive player to his spot. This time forcing Donovan into a really tough shot near the basket. Another thing that makes Davion a great defender is his quick hands and instincts to get the ball. With Gobert fumbling the catch, Mitchell sees the perfect opportunity to knock the ball out of his hands creating a turnover and he does these things while not picking up many fouls either in his near 30 minutes per game. Here is a great example of his ability to recover on a play as after two ball screens got him out of position he continues to track Donovan and he's able to get back in front to contest this shot. Against Damian Lillard, Mitchell is applying great pressure one on one and he cuts off this drive forcing Damon to a very tough shot that comes up short. In another one on one situation, Donovan tries to drive against Davion using this crossover to get Davion on his hip. He gets some good help here from the wing to slow Donovan down some, but look at this incredible play ripping the ball away from Donovan's hands. And here is another display of the quick hands. As Holmes gets stuck on a pin down, Mitchell has to help on Gobert's cut. But as soon as Gobert brings down the catch and he turns to the basket, Mitchell is right there swiping the ball out of his hands. Usually this would be a terrible situation to be in for a 6 foot point guard to have to pick up on a big man who's a foot taller than him. But Mitchell makes plays on the defensive end of the floor and we gotta recognize his strength to be able to knock that away from Rudy Gobert. But I was extremely impressed with this play. He runs out to Lillard in the corner to take away a potential catch and shoot opportunity. However Lillard ends up driving and attacking his top foot where Mitchell is in a terrible stance, very vulnerable, he's pretty much beat here he's done but somehow he manages to recover from this and he contests the shot forcing a miss on a mid-range step back like i said he should be beat right here he's on the verge of falling to the floor and he somehow not only keeps himself up but he recovers like nothing even happened and let's end it off with this play. In the clutch, Donovan wants to get the switch to get Davion off of him, but Davion gets over the screen, staying all over Donovan. And that was just a one on one situation between them, and Davion doesn't fall for anything. He smothers Donovan the entire time and forces him into a terrible quality shot. Keep in mind, this defense is in the clutch. He's doing this against some of the best scorers in the league in only his first two games as an NBA player. Let me say that again, only two games into his NBA career. He is taking on these tough assignments against great players and he's not just holding his own, he's making a statement. I legitimately see future all defensive teams in this guy. His recovery speed, quick hands, ball pressure, and strength for his position combines for a defensive beast on the perimeter. So many times you think he's beat on a drive but he'll still manage to recover. 
it's insane and you know he frustrates opposing players but that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did a like would be very appreciated and remember to subscribe for more great basketball content like this and i know i haven't uploaded in like two months but i'm coming back now okay i promise that and i'm gonna be more consistent but anyway here's two of the videos i made so check out one of those if you are interested but i'm out of here and remember keep on moving